Peter Hughes. One of the early Caribbean dive instructors, Peter Hughes has helped transform the world of scuba diving as we know it today. Peter championed the idea that scuba diving should be inclusive to all who have had an interest in diving, not just the professionals. Peter found his passion for diving early in life, learning the ins and outs of diving as a boy. By 1969, at the age of just 21, Peter became a certified scuba instructor. A couple years later, Peter would take a leap of faith that would change his life and the world of recreational diving forever. Peter seized an opportunity to take over a failing dive operation on the island of Rattan, Honduras, turning it into his first modern, attractive, dedicated dive resort, Anthony's Key Resort. In 1977, Peter was ready for an even bigger challenge and converted another dive resort into Dive Bonaire NV. Under Peter's leadership, Dive Bonaire ushered in a customer-centered philosophy that has now become the hallmark of the modern dive resort and expanded participation by women, older divers, those with physical challenges, and others once excluded by old school views. Dive Bonaire threw out the notion that if you can't carry your tank, you can't dive and replaced it with let us do it for you. Peter implemented new ideas like fill stations on the dock and boats, boats designated solely for divers, benches with cylinder racks, ladders divers can climb, and other innovations we all take for granted today. In 1985, he became vice president of Divi Resorts, developing dedicated dive resorts throughout the Caribbean. In 1986, Peter introduced Sea Dancer, radically reshaping dive liveaboards by replacing rustic and spartan with comfort. In 1992, as president of Peter Hughes Diving and the Dancer Fleet, Peter upped the ante with the Wave Dancer Luxury Liveaboard, attracting female and upscale divers. Wave Dancer replaced bunks with suites, paper plates with china, and nickel and dime costs with all-inclusive pricing. Peter's operations have also remained closely involved with environmental preservation. He was among the first to install dive site moorings to reduce anchor damage to the reefs. Dedicated to mentorship, Peter trains rising dive travel leaders at all his destinations. He has spoken before the government about the economic benefits and importance of diver tourism. Congratulations, Peter, and welcome to the International Scuba Diving Hall of Fame.